Hey, how's it going, everybody? Wanted to give you a little information on how to obtain a Georgia firearms license. Now, let's just go over the basic uh, requirements. First of all, you cannot be a criminal in any sense. If they conduct, they do a background check and it comes back that you have been convicted of certain crimes, you will not get the license. Okay, now that's out, of the, out in the open. If you read right here, uh, this is from the county that I stand, Pauline County, Georgia. Of course, uh, basically it's the same, it's just different locations. First time applicants right here, you must be 21 years of age. Be a resident of whatever county to apply for and receive a license at that, at that location. Provide proof of legal residence if the applicant is not a citizen of the United States. Provide picture ID with correct residence address. If address is not correct on ID, then provide one of the following with ID. You have to be fingerprinted and submit to a criminal and mental health records check. Not have any legal disqualification to receipt of the license. Now, it says here, Porter, please view ineligible persons. Let's click on that. Uh, any pending criminal charges, felony convictions, drug convictions, uh, misdemeanors, mental health, uh, hospitalization, our issues, etc. And I'm going to uh, include the link so that you can go here and read about the various uh, things that it takes to get this license. That's uh, basically it. You go down to your probate court, wherever, whatever county you live in, in the state of Georgia. You fill out the application. At that time, they're going to take your fingerprints. You pay the fee, which right now, as I'm recording this, is $61. Once that's done, it all comes back. A judge signs it at probate court, and they send you a card with that person, that judge's signature on it, which now makes it legal for you to carry a weapon in the state of Georgia. Now, a couple things I wanted to point out before I end this video. Just because you have a firearms license does not mean you can carry a firearm everywhere within the state of Georgia. What I mean by that is some locations are off limits for as far as weapons. I can go into Walmart, I can go into Starbucks, for instance, open carry or concealed. I cannot go to um, a park or a school, for instance. Those types of properties are off limits. If they catch you with a weapon, concealed or open carry, uh, you end up probably going to jail or facing some type of charges. So be clear, you have to understand where you can carry your weapon and how you can carry your weapon. Now. Once you get this card back, this is what it's going to look like, and I'm going to point out a little information on it, and it's right here. Georgia Farms License uh, tells your county, name, address, expires, it expires five years from, five years from the time you got it, uh, your signature, date of birth, issue date, sex, height, weight, eye color, probate, court judge signature and your right index finger on the uh, card. On the back it gives you some information about where you can and cannot um, carry a weapon either open carry or concealed. So that's it that is for the state of Georgia obtaining your firearms license concealed and or open carry. If you have any questions, please uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube page. You can get me on Facebook or Twitter, both Preston or Johnson. Have a nice day, and I hope that this information has been helpful to uh, everyone out there. Thank you.